Uh-huh. Come on, peace to my corner. When it's the Cater Killers, that's rich and famous. By acting like your bakery bake stacks. Get your cake snatched and your bride too. Money can't replace that. Run, but you can't hide the games that you play. It gets you viewed by a car and a coward. This is my corner. Come on, peace to my corner. When What's good, Fight Fans? It's Ashley's Corner. And I finally got to see them face off. And I'm actually a little bit more excited for this fight. And you kind of get to see around what height um, Tawan Karam really is standing in front of Lucas Matiste. And I would say that Tawan Karam is probably 5'9". Um, at the most, probably 5'9 and a half. Um, but he is a little bit bigger than Lucas Matisse. Day. Um, again, he was like, during, <laughs> during the little press conference and face-offs, you could tell that he was very excited for the fight, very respected, um, re very respectful. Uh, he just, you know, he just thinks that he's going to win this fight. And he said he was very confident and very excited to take the, take the title back home to Thailand. And you could tell from him and the dude that was handling him, the dude that was behind him, um, talking to him and telling him what to do during this face-off and the press conference, that they liked the way that belt looked, if you understand what I'm saying. They was kind of glancing at that belt. Like, they liked that, how that belt looks. But my prediction for this fight, um, supposed to happen tomorrow night on the 27th, is going to be... Um, um, the same prediction that I had at first. I think uh, Lucas Matiste should take this fight. I honestly don't think he should um, He should uh, let Tawan Karam survive the 12 rounds, honestly. Uh, Lucas Matiste is a very hard puncher, and he has more speed than Karam. So we're going to see what happens. I'm very excited for this fight. I will definitely be tuning in, and um, that's my fight prediction. Always like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.